This week at the Macon Newsroom of the Murphy Center for Collaborative Journalism, the Macon Bibb County Commission holds its last meeting of the month Tuesday when Mayor Lester Miller presents his fiscal 2025 budget. The county also appears poised to purchase more real estate. There's an executive session on the agenda with a mention of an undisclosed ordinance authorizing the mayor to sign documents to buy property, another that will deed over about 12 and a half acres on Walker Swamp Road to the Urban Development Authority, and a resolution expressing the county's desire to be reimbursed for capital improvements. They're expected to accept a $50,000 Georgia Emergency Management Agency Homeland Security grant with an in-kind match. County Manager Keith Moffitt cut the ribbon Monday on the new offices for the Macon Bibb Planning and Zoning Commission and Building and Fire Safety offices that are right next to each other, fulfilling a long-standing goal to have a one-stop shop for developers, contractors, and property owners. And you can see for yourself in an open house from noon to two Wednesday at Macon Mall near the old Sears location. We'll also have highlights of this week's PNZ hearings. The Macon Bibb County Board of Elections meets this week and will keep you posted on the board's reaction to NAACP complaints and the location of the absentee ballot boxes at the new location. Our GPB partner Grant Blankenship is tracking the bill to make the Okmulgee Mounds a national park with its first committee hearing on Wednesday. Keep Macon Bibb Beautiful celebrates its 50th anniversary as the nation's first local Keep America Beautiful organization with an awards lunch on Thursday, and our civic journalism fellow Laura Corley will unpack the Bibb School Superintendent's budget, as well as explain why the Macon Housing Authority's development arm is planning a project out of state. And congratulations to all of our Mercer graduates heading out to change the world. I'm civic journalism senior fellow Liz Fabian. As always, you can learn more about these stories on our website, macon-newsroom.com.